Okay, so back in the in particles, um, when it comes to you know instancing, you like replacing geometry within there, uh, that's great. You know, we've kind of went over that. Now I kind of want to show you just something real quick that could have been addressed at the beginning, I guess, but um, it doesn't really matter. But there's different instancer emit from object. So in other words, so I have this little particle system here. Oh, and I was going to say too, we kind of went over in the last video, but if you wanted to add a material to this, basically you would just like select the end particle and assign new material. Whatever standard surface shader that you, you would like. And if you have like an Arnold setting, you'll be able to see it. You can change color based on the surface area. Voila. Cool. All right, well, let me get rid of this. So you have a object in here and basically you can create a emission based upon the vertex points of this piece of geometry. So for in other words, every single vertex piece, there will be particles emitting from the, this piece right here. So if I were to kind of like squeeze this down here. Make it bigger, in particles, emit from object. Let's look at the box here. Create new solver. It's basically the same attributes. Uh, you can create a directional and omni, however you want them to spray out of there. We're just going to go create an omni. Everything's created within the actual sphere. Crank this up a little bit more. We're emitting. Let's crank. There we go. So then you can kind of render this out as points. Might be a little easier to read. So that's weird. It looks like some kind of shower head or something like that. So basically, if you got like a pipe or something like that, and you want the particles to come from a pipe from a face of a pipe because you can emit from faces. Back this up. Say this is my shower head and I want the particles to emit from right here. I'm just gonna select these. Create emitter. Nothing came from it. So let me reset it. Sometimes it may take a little bit to reset. Emit from object. There we go. It's pretty handy dandy. And then you can control the basically, just like with the other, the attributes, the speed, the wind direction from the emitter, the speed, you know, all the colors, the, um, the shape. Lifespan, particle size. Collisions if you were going to collide with a shower floor or something like that, you know, obviously it worked with wood the same way So that's awesome
So let me show you this right here, converting this fluids, this in particles to polygons. It's a way to get some really cool dripping like fluid flowing, and then you can shade it whatever kind of color shader, but you're actually working with polygons mesh, which can sometimes be a little easier. So I'm gonna create a new emitter, pull it up here. I'm gonna go Here, so I know I got something going here. Okay, we're moving really fast. So you select the particle, go to modify, convert, fluid to polygons or in particles to polygons. And then it becomes this thing right here, which may confuse you. But what you have is a new in the output mess, output mess section right here in the particle shape this threshold right here because if you look if you just kind of start running it it's just moving there but if you kind of crank the threshold down you start getting like this mesh kind of like a dripping there we go that's a good one there crank it up just a tad zero two try five there we go and if you notice there's all triangles so it's kind of like if you go and adjust the oh, let me go back to it this radius scale here that's kind of adjust it some to uh, you can change it to quad mesh which will change the makeup of it it usually kind of squares it out which means you'll usually kind of have to it's more pixelated I guess for it, this particular one Back to trying to mesh, I'm not really worried about it. The mesh triangle size, all these different settings right here. It's best just to stay in the output mesh and try to figure this one out. But the good thing about it is you can add a shader to it. render doesn't look that bad so if you've got like a scene basically you know where you've got like a poor scene and you want to kind of just create that based upon that you can go about doing it that way smooth it over like a smooth preview sorry my Arnold keeps popping up in my other window really nice if you wanted to save this mo model mesh right here just edit delete history by type and there you go so okay that's emitting from an object emitting from a face and creating basically a mesh out of the in particles to kind of because if you were to basically to um, create a collider, let me create a collider real quick. Just real, see what it looks like. Kind of pouring in there. It's pretty awesome. Marshmallow. You could emit this basically like from a pipe, kind of shoot it in a certain direction from just based on your emitter. The direction. Give it some less weight, more weight, whatever you want to. So, okay, so have fun with that and we will continue in the next tutorial.